Hello and welcome to the east end of Glen Shiel. It's Saturday the 11th of November and we're heading up to do Kish Du, which the Monroe lies uh, to the north of the road and towards the Glen Affric Youth Hostel. So a nice morning. We're currently en route going up the Corbett. That'll lead us on to the Monroe. We sprinkling the snow. Quite light winds. So all good. Just looking down to the Clone Inn, middle there, and uh, South Shield Ridge in the background, or part of it anyway. Is that not a glorious morning? Oh, that's just up the, the main rise here. As you can see, the sun's back in the tops now. You see the Monroe's summit in the background. Geese do, craggy one with snow on it. And the uh, middle bump there is the Corbett top. It's Geese do in the background. Looks quite formidable from this angle. Freezing level was supposed to be 900 metres, but we're up there already, and that's about 700 metres. So I'm glad that we've got the crampons, ice sacks with us. Just never know. There's Monroe top on the left here. Monroe's at the back of it, can't quite see it. That's our first stop. The hill coming into the, the centre and just at the background there, that's been Atto. In Glen Affric. This is Gish Du, our next stop. And then the hills further north are the Glen Affric hills on the north side of the youth hostel. We did then three of these in May, and this is the two in rows. On the east end of Glen Shiel. I just had a wee bit stop there, so we'll head on now. It's just looking back at the, the first stop. The path that runs out between in the middle there, that's the path we'll probably take going out. Come back down this way and go straight out to the hotel. You get a look at the first of the Brothers Monroe, that's one on the east end, and then this one to the, the right hand side, the second one. I've just stuck the crampons on, it's not really that bad, but it just saves us skating about on the, the damp grass, and there's going to be ice further up as well. There's a nice view of the, the brothers and sisters on the North Shield. The peak with the sun in it in the middle there, that's Skur and Furn. And we're coming round to Benfida, is the one on the right with the sun.
Uh, just the last thing we've got. Uh, well done. Cairns not got any bigger anyway. You see, they're going off at Youth Hostel, just out of the shade, down by the river. Cup of tea sounds a great idea. Another terrific spot for a wee cup of tea. Let's have a wee look at this. That's looking west. That's the north side of the shield ridges. That's the route that we'll go back. We came up there, but we'll just go back down that way and then out to the hotel. We're just heading back to the coal, just down here. Uh, we go straight out the centre, down to the hotel in the distance. There's a good track all the way out there. We've come in there before. You can go up the shoulder to the right if that's if you're going to go round and, and do the mineral. Mineral's to the right hand side there. You better change of plan. Instead of taking the track out to the hotel, you see on the right, we're just going to head back up the Corbett and wander down the ridge again. Same route we came in, just got a wee bit more leg work. That's a revisit to the first stop. Now that. Well, we'll just put back at the car. So it's 13 kilometres, 5 hours 45 minutes, and there was 1390 metres of ascent. So a good day, a good wee wintery feel. So most enjoyable. So if you made it this far, many thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.